Zeke the Antique Freak here, testing a uh, Delco Remy 10SI or 12SI internal voltage regulator. I had forgotten how to do this. It's been a long time, and I had made a gadget at one point uh, to uh, assist with it, but didn't leave any instructions with it. So anyway, we've been having a bit of fun with this, and I got it sol got the problem solved. And so this is the uh, ground terminal here. So you would place from a, a DC power supply, a variable power supply, you would place the ground there. And you would place a bulb between, I'm trying to get my fingers in the picture here, this isn't easy this close. Okay, between these two terminals, place a 12 volt bulb like a 194 or some small bulb in between there, that the bulb will take place of the uh, of the rotor field. And over on these two terminals here, the sensing, terminal 1 and terminal 2, just put it put your variable positive side of your DC on there and uh, you will be able to crank the variable voltage up and down and uh, and the, the the light that's between those things will uh, will light up and I'll show you here with this little stick that I had made so you can see by the um, get the light right that says 15.5 that regulator tests high so I, it's rejected but I'm just gonna leave it on the machine for demo purposes you can see a little bulb that is in between these two screws here, which is the uh, the rotor field brushes, and then uh, and then the ground. You can see the black wire hooked to the ground terminal here, and the variable voltage is going to both of these terminals on the. Uh, oh, got to find it again. Sorry, right there. Both terminals. This is just hooked up with the positive wire, and um, both those wires are going to that. Now, I use whatever you want. You need something that will go from 12 volt to, say, 16 volt to make the uh, to make the little light come off and on. Then you know that the thing is regulating properly. As I said, this is 15.5 volts, so this one is, uh, is high and it's rejected, but it's good for a demo. Um, use whatever you want. I've got a, uh, a variable voltage transformer, and I have a, a DC power supply which is basically a, a glorified rectifier. So as you can see on the meter, if I can get the meter and the light in the same thing here, that'd be wonderful. So right now 16.2 volts, so the uh, voltage is high. The regulator is not requiring, uh, it's not sending anything to the field. I'm going to reduce that voltage and you'll see the light come on. And again, uh, this is, uh, it's going to cut out right around 15.5. So there we're at uh, at 13 volt, and it's definitely calling for uh, the field current to go, th go through the coil of the uh, of the rotor. And here we're climbing the voltage back up again. 15 still on a little bit. 15.6 pretty well dead. 15.8 done. So that's all there is to it pretty uh, simple stuff. Uh, it was hard to find the information on it and it was frustrating since I'd done this 20-25 uh, years ago. <laughs> anyway, that's all there is over Zeke the Antique Freak, over and out.